guys, it's Sarah, and today I am going to be making my first layout using the Not Just For Boys kit for the month of March, and I'm going to be scrapping this picture here of my daughter Layla. This is a beautiful picture we took um, when we went to one of the big mansions here in Rhode Island that is very famous in Newport. And I just love the picture. <laughs> it's a great picture. I don't have a specific story to go with it because I will do some layouts um, of when we went to those mansions. So I'm gonna save other pictures for that. So this is not gonna be telling that story, but um, I did wanna do a layout about her and just a little piece of her personality basically. And um, so I'm gonna be doing that. And since her outfit in the picture is blue, I'm gonna use some of the blues that are in this kit here and I'm trying to decide how I want to do it because I picked my papers I knew what I wanted to use but I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to use them <laughs> um, so I'm going to use that one uh, back there as my main background and then I'm going to take this floral I'm going to actually tear around the floral patterns in this paper and I'm going to use them on either side so I'm really going to just kind of tear into this paper here and then um, do little pieces so they come out from the sides and then the back side is that really pretty stripe, so I'm going to use that to um, uh, map my photo as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down here. I really like the way that they look like they're just coming out from the sides there. And then I'm going to map my photo with um, this blue stripe here, and I'm going to just cut around. And then one of the edges ends up a little crooked, so I have to kind of fix that <laughs> and then um, I am also wanting to use this leaf paper here and I'm trying to decide how big I want it to be do I want it tucked in do I want it a long strip down the center do I want it um, a horizontal strip over um, across the bottom like I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do so I just kind of made a decision <laughs> and um, decided to just do kind of a square and I'm going to ink the edges of this one because I am going to be overlaying it on top of those other pieces of paper there so the patterns are going to kind of blend in together so I used some uh, distress ink in I think it's broken china and I'm going to um, go ahead and put my photo on top of that and it's going to go off the top of it um, and then I'm gonna just kind of have that out for right now because I'm not sure exactly where on the layout I wanted to go so I grabbed um, a couple die cuts from this die cut pack these are really large die cuts which are awesome and then they also have some little labels and stuff so I did grab a label um, I grabbed a long piece there that looks like a old script notebook type thing that's blue which is really great as a solid color to kind of ground everything and then I do have that large blue viewfinder so I'm just going to go ahead and build my layers up here a little bit before I put everything down I'm going to go ahead and cut this in pieces so that I can put a little bit behind and then save the other piece for another layout if I want to and I'm going to put that label up on the top upside down so um, it'll be coming out the top of the layout there. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. And I'm going to work on um, my title. So I wasn't quite sure what I wanted this title to be at first. And then as I was kind of opening my um, package, I, I thought of the word fearless, and that's really kind of what I wanted to portray here. So I'm going to spell out the word fearless with these Simple Stories foam letter stickers. And um, some of the words that are on that word strip um, package there are going to go it really nicely with this as well, with that, you know, kind of title and theme and stuff part of my head. <laughs> I was trying to make sure that was straight. And now I'm needing some journaling. So I grab this um, cut apart sheet from the kit and I'm thinking I need to do some, I need like a journaling spot. I don't have a ton to say, but I do have a couple sentences. So I don't need anything huge and I don't want it to cover up too much of that leaf paper. So I'm gonna cut out this little tag. It's like a tab almost from this side here and it's blue. And I'm gonna cut this into a banner. I'm gonna cut off the pink part because I don't have any other pink going on and I don't wanna bring in that color. So I just cut it into a banner around the pink um, 
little circle. So I'm going to have that sticking out there. And I'm going to go ahead and write Layla 2020 up on that label there. And uh, do my journaling down here just about how this girl is not afraid of much. <laughs> she's pretty much up for anything all the time. Um, you know, she will ride roller coasters and like she's, it, it doesn't take much to scare her. Although she is, a, she is afraid of spiders. So I did put that on there too, except spiders. <laughs> spiders do scare her. <laughs> so, um, but some of these word tiles are perfect. So I have uh, Hungry for Adventures, Beautiful Soul, Wanderer, and Boss. So I put those down there because um, she always impresses me with her sense of adventure. Um, she's usually, usually the one where if Josh wants to go do something fun or adventurous, he asks her if she wants to go. <laughs> he usually doesn't ask me or Kaylin, and that's fine. We know our roles here. So... <laughs> um, so I put those three down. Now I'm going to attach this brass arrow that came in the little gear ship, like the gear package. And I used red line tape to attach that down. And so that goes over near the title, pointing right to the picture of Layla there. And then I'm gonna do some stamping with the stamp set. I'm going to do free spirit. And I'm gonna kind of have that um, stamped right around a corner there. And then I also, stamped let's do this down here on the bottom and then I am going to add some enamel dots I'm going to add a little bit of the lighter blue so um, I'm just gonna add a few of those around um, in four different places I think I wanted to make sure I filled up some of that awkward space um, underneath the stamping at the top there and that completes my layout. So here are some close-ups. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you haven't checked out the Not Just For Boys kits, I will um, leave a link to their website down below. Please make sure you go and check them out. And I will see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.